can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this triangle, now let's draw two parallel segments. And also take note, these two segments are equal. Now from this point to this point, let's connect those. And we created four triangles. Now this triangle, the area of this is given as 10 square units. And the area of this rightmost triangle is given also as 9 square units. Now the question is, what is the area of the whole triangle? So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution and the answer in 3, 2, 1. Now let's begin with the answer. So what is the answer to this question? The answer is 35 square units. Now how do we get 35 square units? And here's the solution. All right, so first, what we're going to do in this kind of given is to use all the given information. So what are the given information? We are given areas, which is 10 square units and 9 square units. We also given that these two segments are equal. And we also have the given that we have parallel segments. All right. So let's set aside those clues and let's use this one by one. So first, what we're going to do is to use parallel segments because take note, if we slide the triangle like this, we have the same area because we have the same base. And obviously, since they are parallel to each other, we have the same height. So the area doesn't change. Now, if we put this triangle in this position, the area is still 10. But let's move the this point, this end point, to this point on the top like this. Now. We are now using parallel segments. Now, how about equal segments? Take note, we have here two triangles. And we have equal bases. Now, we have equal heights. Therefore, they have the same area. So, using equal segments, we can say that these two triangles have the same area because they have the same height and the same base. All right, now. Let's use the last information, which is the area. So let's call this unshaded part as x, so our known area as x. Now, what we're going to do is to focus on this triangle. Now, since we have two triangles with the same height, then we can use this concept if we have a triangle with the same height then the ratio of their areas is equivalent to the ratio of their bases. So their bases, we can say that this is just x is to 9. Now, we have x is to 9. Next, what we're going to do is to go back to the original figure like this. So we know this is 10 square units and this is x. Now, let's focus on this triangle. So again, we have two triangles having the same height. And therefore, we can say that the ratio of their areas is equal to the ratio of their bases. So this length is 10, and this length is just x plus 9. And these are the segments that is equivalent to x is to 9. So we can say that x is to 9 is equivalent to 10 is to x plus 9. Now, if we focus on this equation, we can solve for the value of this x, which is the area of this small triangle. So let's focus on this equation. Now, to solve for the value of x, let's cross multiply. So x multiplied by x plus 9 equals 90. Next, distribute this x to x and 9. We have x squared plus 90, then subtract 90 on both sides, then equate to 0. Now, x squared plus 9x minus 90 is not hard to factor because if we factor this out, we get x plus 15 multiplied by x minus 6. Now, using the zero property, since the product is equal to zero, therefore, at least one of them must be equal to zero. So we can equate x plus 15 as zero. So we get x equals negative 15 and x minus 6 equals zero. We get x equals 6. Now, don't forget, x is area. Therefore, the area 
of this triangle of that triangle is greater than zero. Therefore, we eliminate this value negative 15. So we get that x equals positive 6. Now we know the area of this triangle is positive 6. And we can get the area of the whole triangle. This is just 10 plus 10 plus 6 plus 9. We're simply equivalent to 35 square units. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this figure, then the area, the total area of this triangle simply equal to 35 square units. And as always, we are done.